One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com, and this is not a video about a car. This is a video about a meatloaf. And basically, this is the healthiest, most awesomest, most coolest, fantabulistic meatloaf you've ever had in your life. Like almost no calories. Where regular meatloaf would have like 400, 420 calories per quarter pound. This has about, oh God, I think it might be under 100. It's hardly no calories. You can literally eat as much of this as you want and never gain a pound. Well, I don't know about that. But I eat it all day long, six, seven, eight, nine meals, and it works. Um, I've lost 100 pounds, and the meat like this is one of the main things. It's not beef, chicken, eggs, wheat. Oh, I'll show you right now. And then I've got a little help filming with, to where I can kind of show the process better. I got four pounds of ground chicken. This is 99% fat free. I'm gonna show real quick on the back. Only 120 calories per quarter pound. 93% is gonna come in at like 180 calories per quarter pound. And regular beef is about 350 to 380 per quarter pound with most of your fat for the day. So, got the breadcrumbs, got about nine pieces of bread, four pounds of chicken. This is eight egg whites cut up. You got 18 of them here and bunches of spices. I'm gonna clip some more in here in a second. And oats! Okay, so first off, I'm gonna make the egg whites. And that's part of what makes this so healthy is the egg whites are way, way, way healthier than the whole egg. So like, I wanna show doing the egg whites. And I don't know if you've ever done egg whites before or whatever. The way I learned them when I owned my restaurant is a quick crack, prime them apart, and dump the yolk back and forth till all the white's gone. Throw the crappy part away. And in this recipe, I'm going to put, I've got this recipe up to 18 egg whites now. And sometimes I'll put more, just depending on how it's looking. So the egg white is 15 calories and 60% of the egg, and the egg yolk is 40% of the egg and 60 calories. So obviously you can eat a lot more. Whites only, that's what I'm saying. Not to be racist or nothing, but whites only. I'm kind of doing it a little slower than I usually would, if you will. And you'll do that every once in a while. I might just edit that out, and then I haven't done that ever. Gotta keep it segregated. This is whites only. Okay, so, this is the 18th egg white. This is the skeletal remains of the other egg. So I got 18 of them in here, and about, oh, maybe a yolk between the whole thing. Okay, so, a little milk in there, and whip them up as much as you can. Now, any meatloaf recipe you find out there, you're not going to find near this many eggs in it. No way, shape, or form, it just don't happen. I also like to put a good amount of ketchup, some mustard, a bit of sriracha, some tapatio. This ain't no joke. We're making a meatloaf. We're not screwing around here. Look like a big chicken period. Okay, from there, start putting your powders. Lots of paprika. Paprika. Lots of garlic powder. All kinds of chili powder. Onion powder. Just all kinds of onion powder. And stir it in a bit. And the only thing really pre-packaged that we're putting in here 
is going to be a meatloaf seasoning. And I like to put about half a package in the eggs. Now your eggs will be nice and flavored too. That'll make this whole thing by the end. You'll never know all this is in there on the egg. Line. Or the oats that we're going to put in right now. Mm. And there's no meatloaf recipe in the world going to call for this much oats. There's a cup. There's two cups. Two cups of dry oatmeal makes a hell of a lot of oatmeal. 18 egg whites makes a hell of a lot of eggs. This will get pretty thick. From there you want about another half a cup in there. Ah, oh, three quarters, what the heck. And then let this set for about five to ten minutes while you do other things. And that'll thicken it up and we'll almost make oatmeal out of it. From there, we've got four things of chicken. Dump them all in. Don't touch your finger. Make sure and get the chicken tampons out. Sometimes I catch them skimping on chicken tampons. I'm going to ask the butcher next time. Okay, it comes in strings like ground beef. I like to cut it up a bit. From there, oops, there's one more chicken tampon. Don't be eating chicken tampons. Okay. From there, more mustard. Tap it to you. Gotta love the seasoning salt. Mediterranean style. Gotta love the Greek seasoning. For four packages and all this, I usually use about a package and a half of this. They call for a package per pound. Two pounds and two eggs using their recipe. Okay, got eight, eight egg whites here. Sprinkle on about half of them. Parsley flakes. Now, this is where you can, if you like peas, carrots, anything like that, great time, place, and all that. Let's put that in it. You really can't put too much paprika. For me, you really can't put too much garlic. Well, can't put no more either because I don't have it. Onion powder, etc, etc. Okay. No, we want more sriracha. Start getting it mixed together. Until all the meat's not white no more. And try and ball it up on the bottom and turn it. From there, about a three quarter of a cup of dry oats. And I got nine pieces of bread. It's whole grain. Make sure and use whole grain. It really ain't gonna taste no different and it's actually healthy. I like to put some of them in there and let them set. 
And this is a bit thicker. I'm doing this fast. I normally would let this set for maybe three more minutes, but it's good enough. You really don't have to let it set at all. Add most of your breadcrumbs in there. And stir them in. Now weight lifting, weight loss, bodybuilding, weight gain for muscle, you're not going to get more protein, fiber, and what you need than in a meat loaf like this. No way, shape, or form. Get rid of the rest of your egg whites in here. So you got two dozen eggs, four pounds of turkey, or chicken, whichever. This is chicken. And about four cups of oat milk. Just dump this on there, about half of it, and start mixing it in. Once you get all the bottom stuff on the top, mix the rest in. Now this makes a lot of meatloaf. Splash your meatloaf on yourself on the floor. You kind of get to know how it looks as far as what you want. I know I want it just a tiny bit drier than that. And that's part of why you leave some of the breadcrumbs for last. There's a lot of them disintegrate in the mix. But the amount of whole grain fiber and protein in this is just amazing. I honestly wish I had a scale to where I could measure, weigh myself before and after holding a meatloaf to where I can know how many pounds of meatloaf it is. I'm pretty sure it's close to eight. And that's it. Okay, so added a good amount of ketchup and the rest of that, most of the packet, so I got one and three quarters packet of the meatloaf stuff, cleaned up some garbage and stuff, spread that around on it, didn't want to do that, did not want to do that, but that's why God made paper towels. So over here, I've got the butter on the pan, I put tin foil on the pans, don't have to use tin foil, just makes it much easier, don't have to use butter. I just prefer it to the, it get as crispy as everything else you spray on. Coat your pan with that real quick. You can use your hands or whatever. Just stuff a little brush or a rag or cut it out! Okay, so, got butter on my hand. I like to put a little bit of that also. From there we've got this, as we had it. Just need to get that top surface stuff mixed in. And the only thing else you're gonna need at this point is some oats. And some ketchup. And mustard if you like it. 
Okay, that's that. From there, you gotta decide how big or bad or whatever you want your meatloaves. And kind of form them accordingly. Actually, I'm having a little bit of a tough time because I'm not used to filming and doing this. It's working out just perfect. Depends on the shape you want. I like them like this for a nice sandwich cut. And you can spend as little or as much time on this part as you want. And if you'd have let that sit, or if I would have, in between there just a little bit more, it would have been a little bit easier to put on the board. This would have been a thicker mixture. You can also put a little less hot sauce and stuff, but I sure like that in it. The smaller one will be easier to kind of form as you want it, if you want. To make a meatloaf pan that's really nice, it actually drains off all the oils and fats. However, when you're making this kind of a meatloaf, there is no oils and fats. There's no fat in this meatloaf part. There's not, there's if this meatloaf is 1% fat, I'd be amazed. I'll bet you it's less than a half a percent. You may as well be eating straw. But it sure tastes good. It tastes just like a meatloaf. It actually tastes better than a meatloaf. And you don't get sicky after. Scratch. And you don't get sick after. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to show up close on the oven. You can put this thing anywhere between 360 and whatever. Um, timer. Timer. Cook time. And you can cook this thing anywhere between 45 minutes and an hour and 15 minutes. Um, not preheating the oven. I'm going to put this on about an hour six. It depends on how non... It depends on how solid the meatloaf is as to how long it takes. I like to run a spatula along the sides and kind of pry it up away from just to give you a better outcome. It makes it easier to get off the pan and all that. This is what Betty Crocker don't tell you right there. Just makes it a lot easier on the other end of things. Okay. Okay, so sriracha. And tapatio. Depends on how much you want as to how spicy, because this will make the top layer very spicy. I don't mind the taste of mustard. I would say three-quarter cup of ketchup by the time it's said and done.
And this makes a nice, nice glaze on top. It'll be a little spicy. And a bit mustardy tasting. If you run out or something, spread it thin and put ketchup on top. Just depends on how thick you want your glaze. And again, you don't even need it. This actually adds salt, which probably makes this meatloaf taste better to me. Have less calories without it. But it won't be as pretty either. Okay, from there, I guess you would say garnish with oatmeal. And for something this size, you're probably using another cup or so, at least. And again, peas, carrots, corn, anything you want to chop up and put in here. It's a freaking meatloaf. I mean, put whatever you want in here. There's no wrong thing. Green peppers, chilies, you name it. I should have took this here grill out first, but I didn't think about it. And that's it. It probably takes about a half hour to make and put together. And off this food, two people can eat for easily a week. I'll be back. Well, that's it. It's done. I got it out of the oven. Actually, I cut the other one up yesterday. And I've got this one left. We're talking 7-8 pounds of meatloaf. I'll show another video here that's sliced and stuff like that. Sandwiches, sandwiches, sandwiches. Well, here I am. I got this side cut up. I'm telling you, there's about 60 pieces here like that that's a huge piece three of these pieces make an awesome sandwich there's 20 sandwiches right here there's 20 sandwiches right here that's 40 sandwiches and the other one we already cut up made a lot of stuff it was like 30 sandwiches so between all this you got about 100 sandwiches is that 100 sandwiches i don't know how many freaking sandwiches it is it's a lot of sandwiches and three four people be eating for a week yum about 30 to 35 dollars depending on what you put in it Yum, and this is 99% fat free. Best meat you're gonna get. You can't gain weight with this. There ain't no way you can eat enough of it to gain weight. This is an awesome, awesome thing. Unless you're looking to gain muscle. If you're looking to gain muscle and you're working out, this has more protein than about any other food around. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneownercarguy.com. Oneownermeatloafguy.com.